In this video, I will explain the definition of sequence, and I will present various common conventions and pieces of notation that we use to describe sequences. The definition of sequence is short. A sequence is just a function with domain the natural numbers, so it's a particular type of function. This is what the graph of an arbitrary function might look like. The graph of a sequence may look like this. Um, the domain is only the natural numbers, so I just get this bunch of disconnected dots. This is a reason why we normally don't represent the graph of a sequence. It doesn't give us as much information as the graph of other functions. While a sequence is a particular type of function, there is the common convention of distinguishing between two types of functions. And sometimes we agree that if we use the term function, we mean function with domain and interval, or perhaps a union of intervals. This is a little vague. Whereas when we say sequence, we mean function with domain and naturals. And I'll relax that a little bit at the end of the video. Ultimately, they are all functions, but sometimes we agree that function will mean only the first type. And we have a further convention of having some meaning given to the choice of variable. We will often, for a function, as in the first type, use x as the variable, whereas we would use n as the variable for a sequence. There's no good reason for this. You could use n to be the variable of a function and x for a sequence, but we commonly agree on this, so that it is implied that if the variable is called n, then it only takes natural values. If I use x as the name of the variable for a function and the function is called f, then the value of the function at x is f of x, in parentheses. But the value of the sequence at n will often write a sub n as a subindex, if a is the name of a sequence. Again, there is no good reason for this. We could use indices for functions and parentheses for sequences, but we often agree to do it this way. So for example, I could define the function f by the equation f of x equals 3 over x plus 1, and I could define a sequence a by the equation a sub n equals 3 over n plus 1 is the same equation, but in the second case I'm emphasizing that the domain is only natural numbers and only takes natural values. In the second case, since n only takes natural values, then I can order all the terms, and I can say that the first few terms will be 3 over 1, 3 over 2, 3 over 3, and so on, which I could not do with the function. And this notation is also common to write those terms in curly braces, even though it's perhaps a bit unfortunate, since the sequence is not a set. The set could be the range of the sequence, but the sequence also includes saying what is the first term, what's the second term, and what's the third term, which the set could not. Nevertheless, this notation with curly braces is also common. That's because there is various ways uh, to define a sequence. Uh, we could describe a sequence with an equation, perhaps it's the most common. Here is an example. And in this case, a sub n equals 2 to the n, n factorial over n plus 1. This is definitely a sequence, because the factorial is only defined for natural numbers. But we can also define a sequence by giving the first few values. For example, I could define a sequence with first few values 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. But be careful every time we define a sequence with the first few values. Because when I wrote that, perhaps you were thinking of the general term 2 to the n, but I wasn't. I meant 2 to the n plus this polynomial, and you can check it, it actually works. And the lesson here is that the first few terms of a sequence never fully determine what the sequence is. So the convention is that if by writing the first few terms is very clear what you meant, then sometimes we do that, but otherwise we should write the equation. So for example, in this case, if I actually meant this complicated equation, I should not define this sequence just by the first few values. A third way to describe a sequence is with words, with an explanation. For example, I could describe the sequence of primes, where pn is the nth prime. This is a perfectly well-defined sequence. We know what the terms are. The first few ones are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. And the reason we do it this way, with words, rather than with an equation, is because there is not a nice equation for it, but the description with words is perfectly valid. And there is yet a fourth common way to describe a sequence that is very specific for sequences, and that is via a recurrence relation. Perhaps the best known example of this is the Fibonacci sequence that we normally denote by f of sub n, which is defined by the following. I say that the zeroth term is 1, the first term is 1, and after that, every term is the sum of the previous two. And just writing this fully defines what the sequence is. Because, for example, f sub 2, the next term, will be the sum of f sub 1 and f sub 0, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2, and f sub 3, the next term will be the sum of the second and first, which is 3, and so on. So we have by, just by giving this rule, I can calculate any term on the sequence. Why would we describe the sequence this way rather than with an equation? Well, for two reasons. Perhaps there isn't an equation, or perhaps there is, but this description is clearer. There is actually an equation for the general term of the Fibonacci sequence, but it's not very enlightening, whereas this property defines it much better. An important note on notation. Perhaps the most complete notation for a sequence may be something like this. 
I write a sub n between curly braces, and I say that n goes from 0 to infinity. That's how I will read those indices. That tells me what the variable is, and reminds me that it starts at 0, and it keeps on going forever. Sometimes you will see other notations, which sometimes are an abuse of notation, but we use them anyway. For example, this is another way to express the same thing. Or sometimes I may just write that without specifying it starts at 0. Or even that, where I'm just emphasizing what the variable is, I assume the rest is understood. Or the other way around, perhaps I use this notation where I'm not specifying n is the variable, I assume that's understood, and I specify the rest. Or maybe I'm very lazy and I just write that. All those may be different notations for sequences, and it's okay to use them when they're unambiguous and it's very clear what we mean. Some books may use parentheses instead of curly braces, which may be a good idea because a sequence is not a set and the curly braces may confuse us. So all those are valid uh, pieces of notation when there is no ambiguity. But be careful, if there is ambiguity, we should be very precise. For example, if I want to describe this sequence, n divided by k, when k goes from 2 to infinity, I really should write everything, because in this case, I, there are two variables, n and k, and I have to say which one I mean as the variable for the sequence, in this case k. So for the purpose of this sequence, n is a constant. And I also, in this example, I want the variable to start at 2, not at 0. So this is the sequence I actually mean. And this final example leads me to conclude to change the original definition, because this uh, function doesn't have the natural numbers as domain, it's a bit smaller. So I'm going to change the original definition. I said initially that the sequence was a function with domain and natural numbers, but instead I'm going to say that the domain is something like this, the set of integer values greater or equal than some fixed integer n sub zero, which is to say I accept a sequence with domain and natural numbers, but also if they start at one instead of zero, or at three, or at seven, or perhaps even at minus one. So I'm going to accept all those, relax my definition, and say any of those is a sequence. For example, the sequence 1 over ln n, where n is the variable, is naturally defined with domain starting at 2, because I cannot divide by ln 1, since that would be 0. 